So this is a follow-on video to a previous video I did about SAS wide pathing, which is the idea of connecting uh, a SAS controller in a computer to a JBOD but with multiple SAS cables to add multiple SAS paths. And in that video, I tested uh, adding an additional four lanes of SAS from the server to the JBOD. Uh, and we saw in that video that the read performance of a RAID 0 array, which is the very best case read performance, uh, did improve quite a bit uh, as a result of the extra bandwidth. The performance of it over the network did not have much benefit because the network was, of course, the biggest limiter in that performance. Uh, but at the very end of the video, I mentioned that there were two other things we should look at. Uh, one was the effect on rebuild time, and the second one was the effect on scrub time. And I did those tests pretty quickly. I didn't record them, but I'll let you know how they worked out. So for rebuild time, you would probably expect there to be virtually no difference because the rebuild time is limited almost entirely by the write ability of the single drive that you're rebuilding. And that, in fact, played out. But to, between the wide port and the non-wide port, there was virtually no difference. It was, I think in this case, three hours and 14 minutes to rebuild uh, the portion of the array when I disconnected the drive and then reconnected it. Uh, so that was not different at all, and so there's no real enhancement there. However, the performance of Scrub was significantly better. It took about three hours and 56 minutes for the single port configuration and two hours and 18 minutes for the dual port configuration. So almost twice as fast, a little bit less than that, uh, but a very significant improvement in Scrub speed. And of course that makes sense because scrub speed involves reading all the disks in parallel as fast as you can in order to look for discrepancies in the data that's returned. So it's kind of an ideal use case for uh, having more bandwidth to the JBOD. But it is helpful though that if you have a JBOD and you have two ports on the JBOD and you have a two port SAS controller card, there's no reason not to do the wide path, not to hook up cables to both of those ports on both sides, that way you can get a little bit higher bandwidth going to the JBOD, and it'll make things like scrubs both run faster, uh, but also if you're running a scrub, you'll have a little more total bandwidth available for the actual disk array. So if a scrub's running, uh, it won't have such an impact on your disk usage. So just a couple of follow-ups on that, uh, and I think I'm gonna leave my configuration with the white path configured because there's no reason not to. Thanks for now.